I, I grew up in the public school system and just doing my own thing, raising myself in a way. I had a few different gigs I was doing and they were so well laid out, so well laid out, yet none of them worked. And I remember just praying like, God, what is it that you have for me? I found myself working on a tractor. I was listening to American Family Radio all the way across the shop. It was saying that I can come serve in Israel. And it was just a piece of the words. I can't recall exactly what it was, but talking about how I can come serve in Israel. And it was just about a sentence long. Eventually, by the end of the day, I go and I show up at my mother's house. And she goes, Jacob, I heard where you can go serve in Israel today on the radio. And I thought at that moment, what if God's speaking to me about this? <laughs> Whenever I first got here, I thought, wow, this is amazing. I had no idea this book that I've been reading for the past two years had a physical location still. And I've never connected with the scripture that much. I've been reading it in black and white for the past two years, but I came here and I started reading it in color. And it was amazing for me. Until I came and was a part of the prophecies of plowing up the land and planting vines and vine dressing and harvesting. There's nothing I would do to take that back. No money I would have made was worth it. Absolutely not. Absolutely. To be able to come here and give my hands and feet to the Jewish people, you need to just come out here. It will change the way you think. It will change your theology. It will change your view of Israel. It will change your, the way you read your Bible. I will never think the same. If I could go back, absolutely, I would do this over 15 times to come back here and experience what I've experienced. My name is Jacob Wilson, and I'm from Jonesboro, Arkansas.